The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. Brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City. The name you've trusted for years. GEICO, the insurance savings you expect. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Bollinger Shipyards. 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. And the Bugman. We get them before they get you. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Lee Burkeen on the road here in New Orleans at Isidore Newman High School. Look behind me, I mean, is this, isn't this amazing? Um, Archie, Cooper, Peyton, and Eli from one high school, uh, Odell Beckham, uh, Randy Livingston, several great uh, student athletes, a great school here. We're gonna interview uh, Coach Nelson Stewart in the show and many players, uh, Eli Friend, the quarterback, and Britt Bornelaw, who plays offensive tackle, defensive tackle, committed to LSU. But I just want to come out here before we did the show and to show off these old pictures here. Look at the old picture of Archie Manning and his family, Cooper that played here, and, and Peyton and, and Eli Manning. Um, what a great, great school this is. It's like being at a small Ole Miss. Uh, I know Jay would agree. It's like being at a small prep school here at Isidore Newman High School. But I hope you enjoy the show. We're going to have Eli Friend and, I, again, Britt Bordeaux. And also, beginning in the show is Coach Nelson Stewart. We do an interview with Nelson to begin. I hope you enjoy. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Hi, everyone. Lee Burkeen, host of the Sports Scouting Report podcast, owner of Louisiana Football Magazine. And we're at Isidore Newman High School in New Orleans, Louisiana. You can see the back. It's not as lit because you've got the, uh, I thought people would like to see the field in the background. Um, but we've got head coach Nelson Stewart that's going to be joining us out of the break. We're going to talk about the high school. We're going to talk about Beckham. We're going to talk about the Mannings. We're going to talk about Eli Friend, the current quarterback another quarterback, uh, Britt Bordelon, another player committed to LSU, many more players coming up at uh, Isidore Newman. And we'll try to like scan. We've got uh, different things we want to put on camera uh, that you'll see during the show, uh, the field, um, you know, some of the, the, the great players that have come out here. Obviously, we don't want to forget Randy Livingston. They played basketball here, was a big time player and several others. And they've got a big time 6'8 player that I'll ask coach about coming up on the basketball team. Much more. We'll be right back. Total Car Care, Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, your host. And uh, I want to mention before we get to Coach Stewart, uh, 28th year doing our football preview magazine, uh, 31 years in the business, but 28 having a preview of all the high schools. Uh, if you're a coach watching the show or a Newman mom or dad or just a New Orleans fan or anywhere in the state, go to LAFootballMagazine.com. It's digital now. Oh, it was tough doing that. but. That's where everybody wants to go. They want to go online and just click on it, and it's free. And it'll be the best free material you ever will read. You don't have to buy it now. And I want to go ahead and introduce Nelson Stewart. Good to see you, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. This is the biggest workaholic <laughs> coach teacher. And I want to put that because some coaches, hey, if you don't have to teach, love it. But this man teaches kindergartners all the way to high school, uh, weight room, PE, English history, whatever, I don't know, everything. <laughs> but, I mean, you are never free. Yeah, I know it's tough. Um, yeah, I, and, and on my watch, in, in the 13 minutes, I'll be picking up the right. uh, B kindergarten class. But, yeah, I know I've, uh, again, it's my 25th year, and I went here 13 years. I, I guess turning 47 on Saturday. You, Congrats. You do, no, you do the math, 38 of the 47 have been on this campus. So I get to give back, and, um, yeah, it's tough. You do five classes a day, wait in the afternoon, but – Keeps me going, and uh, again, it's a great institution. And now I'm getting to the point. It's a lot of uh, my friends' children, and some of my players' children. I get to run around with, so um, it could be worse. So yeah, and, I, and, and I want to give Coach to be in the in the in the good, so he's not in the doghouse. But introduce his biggest cheerleader here, your wife. 
Yes, no, she's yeah, all the time yeah. you're here. Yeah, no, right? uh, Emily Stewart. Yeah, she's amazing. She's art teacher uh, over at, ironically, her alma mater. And, um, you know, she's always running around with our, uh, my twins and my oldest daughter. And, uh, yeah, she, she's the head coach at home. She does the uh, heavy lifting for sure. And, um, yeah, all she's been with me the whole time. And, you know, 25 years in, I, I sure couldn't do it without her. So, yes, I'd get you some brownie points. Yes, right, thank you. I no, appreciate now it. Now we can yeah. start the interview. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. Nelson, this facility is incredible. Um, we're in the, the meeting room here at the football um, office, you know, looking over the field, um, the school on the left, and surrounded by Newman, Isidore Newman property. But um, you, you mentioned you've been here most of your life, mm -hmm. um, even Tulane. I mean, that's like right. walking to college yeah, here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's that been like, the dream for you, being at one place most of your life as a coach? You student? know, it really wasn't anything I ever really planned. I was a ball boy for Tony Reginelli. I went here, I played football at Tulane, and, um, you know, Frank Gendusu, who is uh, my head coach, um, just invited me back. It just timed out Jeff Brock, old O-line coach, retired as I wrapped up, and um, I've just worked as hard as I can. I took over. Um, you know, right around 06, and uh, Ken Lass, who had been the head coach, I mean, talks about his character. We flipped spots. He became yeah, defensive yeah. coordinator for all time. And, um, he, you know, it, it's been a dream come true for me. But, I, you know, look, Tony Reginelli built this. I say it all the time. He he really did. He put it together. Uh, then, obviously, with coaching, Deuce continue that. So many great assistants. And um, I didn't ever want anything that, you know, I ever sought out. It's just kind of happened. I think it's a service. Yeah. It really is about others. And, um, no, it, it's been pretty spectacular. And to see the growth of the school, the program, and the things you know we've done together, uh, it's been really special. You know, to see Peyton Manning come through here, his brother Eli, and then the son, um, Arch, who's at Texas, redshirting, uh, going to be a redshirt freshman this year, I mean. Um, the attention that some of these players get now, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. And you're a teacher, like you're working hour to hour. Yeah. And you're having college coaches like every hour wanting to meet with you, and then you have someone like me want to come interview. No, you. But, <laughs> but you, you said the challenge of that. Yeah, no, it like was, it's fun for a while, and then yeah, well, I think it, it. You know, it's fun to you know get to meet people, network, right, make right, friends. Right. But you know, when it came to Arch, it was uh, really for especially for the last three years, it really was my life. You know, you'd wake up at six thirty and, and give the coaches your schedule for the day and. Whether the, you know, I guess the window's an hour, 30 yeah. minutes, you yeah. just meet him at the front, go through, and really protect him in the process. Right. I think the biggest right. thing is, you know, we didn't want to make some like Arch accessible all the time, but, you know, get the information, deliver it to his family, go through it, and be respectful of everyone. I think the biggest thing that, you know, Coach Reg taught me is that um, I don't make those decisions. You know, right. someone like Arch, right. we never really talked about his recruitment in terms of specific universities. It's their decision. So just give everyone the same opportunity, yeah. you know, just, just listen. Uh, go through it, but yeah, I know. Uh, I know what it's like to have three SEC schools in Ivy and mm. two smaller ones in my old smaller office. And he just trying to be fair to everyone, but uh, it never stopped. It really was my life. Uh, you know, just kind of you know dawn to dusk. And there was many times I'd be pulling up at my house, and my wife's one rule was, "You stay on Bluetooth. Don't pick up that phone right, when you get right. in." And AJ Milwe, I guess there's a reason he's in Texas because so many times 8:30 at night I'd be right out front till uh, went in. But um, no, it, it is. But it's it's a labor of love, and um, look, that was that was my cross to bear. I tried to take the brunt of it so he could have a good, you know, high school existence. And then they knew your schedule. So the mm -hmm. coaches, like you said, LSU coaches knew your schedule. Yep. Texas coaches, Ole Miss, everybody. Um, appreciate you today. We'll interview Britt Barnalaw yep. um, and your quarterback Eli Friend. Yep. Um, Eli's very underrated. I want to get your thoughts on Eli. I know that you have been high on him for quite a while. Yeah, no, Eli, one of the best parts about Newman is you get to watch these kids grow up. I remember his first day, um, you know, in pre-K, P.E., wow. and he picked up a football and threw it. I texted his mom, his mom and I were classmates, and she said, hands off. And I said, okay, I could kind of tell. And, yeah, yeah he, he could always throw it. Um, you know, great parents. Uh, you know, Aaron and Asher friend have done such a good job raising him. Um, he's one of three, so wow. all the boys have come through. And, um, yeah, just a great leader. Leader, throws it well, um, good speed. I think he's such a good athlete and he's so strong. People forget he's a great quarterback and yeah. then climbs the pocket, 70% completion percentage. He was all district, all state, all those things. And, you know, look, a big reason why we were within, you know, one play, a touchdown of the Superdome with Calvary was because of him, just tough, relentless. And uh, what I'm most excited about is, you know, really as a sophomore, he was more of a running back, H back. Last year was his first yeah. time really getting coached a quarterback. So, really high ceiling. Um, he's going to make somebody really happy. And I don't set a ceiling. And he's got 
got a lot of IVs, but I think he, he for sure is a Division One kid and uh, yeah, very special. Kind of like uh, a few years ago, Wes Laquette. Yep, same. I tell him that yeah, all the time. Yeah, very same. Very He's got a you know, yeah, big release, um, super athletic, but again, toughness, wow. high football IQ, can set the protections, just high processing speed, and uh, you know, again, he uh, he makes you right. You don't always. He doesn't always have the exact right play call. Yeah, he can just yeah. get out, and let it rip for sure. And then obviously, uh, Britt Bornlaw is going to be. A senior coming up, his brother Bo's at LSU, already a redshirt sophomore. Can't believe that. Yeah. But okay. you told me today, currently, because last year, and I, I'm not shocked because I know I know Ben Bornlaw, his dad, who played and was a big guy. But you said Britt's six six now. Yeah, he's six six. He's pounds? about three hundred pounds. I feel for Miss Jimmy having wow. uh, feed Both him all the boys, time. Yeah. But uh, you know, really thick, very athletic. Uh, he's a four hundred pound deadlifter. The other day, yesterday, almost four hundred pounds. He you know hitting eight really clean on his squats. Uh, super athletic. You know, he can do handstands, moves well. I know speaking with Coach Kelly when he came through with Coach Sloan, what they really like again uh, is his movement, his base. He yeah. he's a really good. He's really good in protection. He can move all over the place. Certainly. He's good as we've ever had. He's been, you know, he's a four-year starter, all state pretty much every year, and um, a good teacher. And uh, he just loves football. It's all he wants to do. He's always eating, training, and working. And um, you know, looks like he's got an opportunity to graduate early. You know, he's excited about okay. that. And uh, you know, getting uh, boy, the borderline boys up there are going to be something. But get oh, with his yeah. brother. And but look, we got one more year with him. And uh, look, he he and Eli, they're both advisees uh, in my homeroom. Just wonderful kids. There, he can't have one without the other. And uh, you know. I love him to death, and you know, as I say, you know, Ben's uh, sons have been truly biggest blessings to coach, and what a great family, and what a great kid. He tireless work ethic, and he has a humility and humbleness about him, where the reason everybody loves him, and um, yeah, he, he's awful special. Coach Stewart, you're a big weight room guy. Mm -hmm. We didn't mention bench press, but he's almost 400, or at least he's huh? 400 right now. In high school. Yeah, he's, he was, you know, I think it was th actually 395. I don't want to give him too much credit. I mean, but, uh, you know, but, yeah, he's uh, he can do that. Um, just really explosive. He's got big hands. He's, uh, you know, can throw weight around. You know, he really mm -hmm. can. You just, he's one of those guys that can really, you know, kind of do anything. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, he works incredibly hard, you know, humble, selfless, and, uh, you know, he's really, really special. You got a nickname for him? Uh, no, just Brett. Oh, Bo, what, yeah, Bo, you the did. sheriff. He kind of runs sheriff, the show. The He's the sheriff. Bo runs the show. He's the captain here. And, uh, you know, again, I think I'd like to think he's going to be a future captain, obviously, to LSU. Uh, he's tinkering to be starting soon. Yeah. No, I Guard think so. or center. I mean, uh, yeah. we're going to take a break. When we come back, I know Coach has got to get back to class. We're going to try and get a little bit more time out of him, and we'll be right back. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, uh, host of the Sports Scouting Report podcast, also Louisiana Football Magazine. We're with Nelson Stewart. We're here at Isidore Newman High School, fields in the back. We're in the uh, one of the coaches' offices, and we're going to be taking film some of the stuff that you'd want to see um, of some of the former players. But we got about two minutes left with Coach, maybe two and a half. First of all, I want to ask you about Justin Wells, who's a big DN slash slash. Yeah, Justin's great. He's 6'2", 240, plays, you know, that mint front four I force, great with leverage, uh, you know, kind of all those two-gap guys. Um, very athletic, super smart. I think he, he definitely has a chance to play at the next level. One of our team leaders, and, uh, you know, again, it'll be a three-year start, starter for us, really a player. A lot of people don't ask about kids outside the big names. We know about Arch. We know Beckham played here and, you know, Peyton and – and Eli, but um, and then we talk about Brett and then Bo, um, but the guys that that go to like the Ivy League schools or some of the smaller schools. Mention some of your former players. Yeah, no, really. Jermon Sutherland just wrapped up at Dartmouth. Had a great four-year career there. Uh, we have two at Harvard: Sterling Scott, Austin Guillory, both there. DJ Thomas is actually uh, signing with Harvard. He's oh, in a few, okay. so that'll give us three in a row DB? going to Harvard. DB, yeah, yeah he's a nickel. Um, John Gilliatt. Uh, he's at Rhodes right now, doing a great job. Uh, and then Will Randall, uh, he's oh, at Texas, yeah, yeah. Uh, big tight end. Uh, had that knee injury really, you know, hurt us, you know, last year. But he's come on strong. Terry Joseph came by, said he's really doing a good job. So he's off at Texas, and uh, yeah, we've had a good run. I think that's the biggest thing that, you know, high academic institution. Eli, another chance yeah, to yeah. be an Ivy type guy. So yeah, though we we got a few guys out there. Before you got to go, you got another big tight end, Will. 
Will Orzel, and he is going to South Alabama. So, really? Yeah, did a great job. Good. A great was a three-star All-State All-Metro guy. A huge, you know, one of our best targets uh, this year. Big one-handed catch uh, against Calvary at his best game for last. And, uh, yeah, really excited. Uh, Major Applewhite's got them going. So, yeah, yeah going off to uh, play South Alabama. Uh, he, he signed early, and I uh, was super excited for him. Didn't Will's family play at Purdue, one of them? Both of them did, yeah. Colleen, mom, played uh, volleyball as a starter there. Big uh, middle hitter. She's our head volleyball coach. Okay. And Jason was a starting linebacker. Wow. Uh, good friends with uh, uh, Drew Brees, and uh, he's done a number of business ventures with him. And um, yeah, I was a running back initially signed with BYU. Great athlete. We had Will, thankfully. Uh, my ex and my godson, his little brother, the Jackhammer. Oh, Jack Lorzell yeah, is going to yeah. be a sixth yeah. grader next oh, year. Okay. He's projecting at 6'8. So wow. uh, we're very excited. So early. I don't and know Will's 6'6. Six, six, so yeah, so good. he'll yeah. be good. So yeah, very fortunate. And um, yeah, just a, a great time for our program. Take a quick picture before you go. I know you got to go for your class. Thank you, Nelson. Oh, no, thank you, man. We Appreciate might do you. a little bit before you leave, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Libra King.